what is up guys and welcome back to another video and today we're gonna go over 10 method actors who took their roles way too seriously before we get on the video if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe and let's get straight on the video with number 10 adrian brody the Pianist is a film that is based on a true story and Brody plays a Holocaust survivor named Waldislaw Spielmann. He was willing to do anything to make sure that he portrayed this character as accurately as possible. He spent four hours a day practicing piano and did not stop until he was finally able to play passages by the talented Polish composer Chopin. Brody wanted to feel as lost and lonely as Spielmann felt when he was forced to leave his home, which is why he decided to give up everything he had. He left his apartment, sold his car, disconnected his phone, and moved to Europe. At the time, his girlfriend was very frustrated and his method acting is what caused her to break up with him. Also, he lost 30 pounds by going on a strict diet because he thought it was very important to look like Spielman. Filming this movie made Brody feel very empty and it taught him to appreciate everything in life. In 2003, he managed to win the Oscar for Best Actor. Number 9. Leonardo DiCaprio he is known for taking method acting to the extreme in many movies. The Revenant is a film that focuses on the experiences Hugh Glass had to face in 1823. After being attacked by a bear in the wilderness, he had to use his survival skills to find a way back to civilization. According to DiCaprio, there were at least 30 sequences that contain some of the most difficult things he's ever had to do as an actor. Since he wanted to make the movie look more realistic, he decided to spend time preparing for this role. He went swimming in frozen rivers, slept in animal carcasses, and ate raw bison. In the end, his hard work paid off because this movie earned him an Oscar for Best Actor. Another time DiCaprio took his role very seriously was when he filmed for the movie Django Unchained. He played a very hateful and racist plantation owner named Calvin Candy. Samuel L. Jackson and Jamie Foxx had to help him become comfortable using the n-word. In one scene, he got carried away and sliced his hand open. Even though he was in so much pain, he still stayed in character. Number 8 Jake Gyllenhaal Nightcrawler is a thriller film that revolves around the life of a man named Lou Bloom. He records violent events late at night in Los Angeles and sells the footage to a local television news station. Gyllenhaal was very dedicated to this role, so he spent three months in pre-production brainstorming with screenwriter and director Dan Gilroy on the appearance of this character. In the end, they decided that Lou should look lean and exhausted, which is why Gyllenhaal wanted to lose weight. In order to lose 30 pounds, he ran 15 miles a day to and from his home in the Hollywood Hills to the film set. Also, he had a strict diet of kale salad and chewing gum. After he finished filming Nightcrawler, Gyllenhaal had to prepare for his next movie, Southpaw. This film is about an undefeated professional boxer named Billy Hope. In six months, he managed to return to his normal weight and gain an additional 15 pounds of pure muscle. He trained for six hours a day. The first three hours were spent on boxing and the last three hours were spent on cardio. Gyllenhaal said, you can't just play and look like a boxer. You must believe that you can actually exist in that world. Number seven, Marlon Brando. After his revolutionary performance as Stanley Kowalski in A Streetcar Named Desire, Brando redefined acting. He was one of the first actors to use a psychological approach to truly understand a character. When he made his Broadway debut in 1946, he played a psychopathic murderer in the play Truckline Cafe. In one scene, he needed to look like he just got out of an icy lake. In order to make it look real, he would run up and down the stairs until he was out of breath. After he did this, Brando asked a stagehand to dump a bucket of ice water on his head. The audience absolutely loved his performance in this play, and this helped him land his first film role. In the movie, The Men, Brando played a World War II lieutenant who was seriously injured in combat and faced many struggles when he tried to re-enter society. To prepare for this role, Brando spent an entire month confined to a bed at the Birmingham Army Hospital. Number 6. Shia LaBeouf Method acting may be very helpful for some actors, but it almost ruined LaBeouf's life. In 2013, the film Charlie Countryman was released and it showed the main character falling in love with a cellist named Gabby. The movie takes an interesting turn when it was revealed that Gabby's former lover is a drug lord. LaBeouf knew that his character dropped acid during a scene and wanted to make it look as realistic as possible. He took LSD, filmed his trip, and sent the video to co-star Evan Rachel Wood for feedback. Shortly after this, LaBeouf found out that he got the role of a World War II soldier in the film Fury. This caused him to join the National Guard, become a chaplain's assistant to Captain Yates for the 41st Infantry, and spend a month living on a forward operating base. He also pulled out his tooth, 
used a knife to cut his face and did not bathe for four months. LaBeouf became obsessed with method acting, which eventually led to many problems. He was supposed to make his Broadway debut in Orphans, but ended up getting fired. He was so invested in his character that it caused him to spend a lot of time drinking. Number 5. Robert De Niro Here is another example of an actor who is willing to risk their health for movie roles. When De Niro started his acting career, he managed to amaze many people, including the incredible director and screenwriter Martin Scorsese. This helped him land major roles in movies such as Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, and Goodfellas. Taxi Driver is a man who becomes obsessed with the idea of saving the world, so he decides to plan the assassination of a presidential candidate and rescues a 12-year-old prostitute named Iris. De Niro got a hack license and drove the streets of New York City working 12-hour shifts. For the movie Raging Bull, he had to play a professional boxer named Jake LaMotta. He wanted to make sure that his scenes were so accurate, which is why he would train almost every day, sometimes even with LaMotta himself. One day, De Niro got so into his character that he ended up breaking LaMotta's teeth and ribs. He also gained an impressive 60 pounds for this role. Number 4. Daniel Day-Lewis The main reason why he is considered one of the greatest actors of all time is because he was extremely dedicated to his roles. The Last of the Mohicans is an epic historical drama film that takes place during the French and Indian War. For this movie, Day-Lewis decided to teach himself how to live as a survivalist. He learned how to accurately use a flintlock rifle and a tomahawk so he could hunt animals. Also, he refused to eat anything he didn't kill. After he finished filming the movie, he suffered from hallucinations and claustrophobia. He knew that method acting could be very dangerous, but he continued to practice it. In the Name of a Father is a film that is actually based on a true story. It showed four people who were falsely convicted of the 1974 Guilford pub bombings, which killed four off-duty British soldiers and a civilian. Since Day-Lewis was playing the main character, he wanted to make sure that he was prepared for this role. He spent several nights in solitary confinement in an abandoned prison and kept himself awake for three days. He also told the crew members to randomly throw water on him and verbally abuse him because he wanted the IRA prisoner experience to feel and look realistic. Number 3 Sylvester Stallone Before filming the climactic fight scene at the end of Rocky IV, Stallone came up with the idea that almost got him killed. He asked his co-star Dolph Lundgren, also known as Ivan Drago, to really knock him out so the scene would look more realistic. Later on, he realized that he made a very big mistake. His blood pressure increased to 260 and he feared for his life. He was rushed to the hospital and they placed him in intensive care for 9 days. It turned out that Lundgren hit Stallone with so much force that his pericardial sac swelled up and began pushing against his heart. The impact made by the punch was compared to an injury that is usually expected from a horrific car accident. This was not the only time Stallone got seriously injured because of method acting. In the movie First Blood, John Rambo jumps off a cliff and uses a tree to break his fall. Most actors would use a stunt double for the scene, but Stallone felt like he needed to do it himself. He decided to really jump off a cliff three times, which is what caused him to break his ribs. In another scene, Rambo gets smacked in the back by a cop and collapses. This took 19 takes because Stallone wanted to make sure that it looked perfect. Number 2 Heath Ledger It is impossible to create a list of method actors without including him. After DC announced that he was going to play the Joker in The Dark Knight, many fans were worried because they believed that he was not the right choice for this role. In the end, he proved them wrong by giving an incredible performance. He had plenty of time to obsess over his character and conduct research since Christopher Nolan, the director of the movie, decided to cast him before the script was written. When asked about his preparation process, Ledger said that he locked himself in the London hotel room for around a month. While he was in the room, he wrote a diary, only slept for two hours a day, and constantly experimented with different voices. He believed that it was very important to create a truly iconic voice and laugh for the Joker. Nolan said that Ledger closely read A Clockwork Orange, which was a huge inspiration for his Joker. He also made the choice to design his own makeup for the Joker. He felt like the Joker would not allow anyone to apply makeup on him, which is why Ledger wanted to do it himself. He couldn't do it every day of filming, so the cosmetic team had to eventually take control. In 2009, his role as a Joker earned him an Oscar for the Best Supporting Character. And number 1, Christian Bale. This actor is known for taking method acting to another level. He earned a reputation for gaining and losing weight for his movie roles. In the film The Machinist, Trevor Resnick has a serious sleeping disorder which causes him to lose so much weight. In order to portray an anorexic character, he lost over 60 pounds in only 4 months. 
he went from weighing 173 pounds to 110 pounds. Bell survived each day by only eating a can of tuna and an apple. He wanted to take it even further by losing an extra 5 pounds, but his doctor warned him not to because it could cause some serious damage to his health. After he finished filming, he only had 6 months to prepare for his next movie. He knew that he needed to gain weight and muscle for his role as Bruce Wayne in the film Batman Begins. After only a few months, he weighed 220 pounds by eating a lot of junk food and cheeseburgers. Nolan felt like Bale gained too much weight, which is why he asked him to exercise and lose 30 pounds. And that is it for the video guys, as always thanks for watching, we hope you all enjoyed, if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Valenplana and I'll see you all later.